It's only been like two weeks, and I'm already back in Bedrock with a new skin. This is the best I could find to match my uh, dirt person, uh, my Celium Mushroom guy. Because they don't have Skin Pack 5. How could they not have Skin Pack 5? That makes me angry. So yeah, you saw the title, you saw the thumbnail. We are building a hipster door, and not just any hipster door. We'll get onto why this thing is so amazing later. But yeah, hipster door. We flick this lever, and the door opens, and it's all synchronized, and boom, we can walk through, we can walk back, do whatever we want, and we can close it. Now, this is a hipster door because all of the redstone is under the ground. As you can see, there's no pistons, no redstone visible. We have glass here just to prove that there's no, no pistons or anything that you can see. And guess what? The redstone is tiny. Look at this thing. It's only two blocks wide. It's beautiful, and it's amazing, and it's four blocks smaller than the Bowtie Man's design. So, uh, take that, Mr. Bowtie Man. Also, look behind me. This thing's expandable up to 28 blocks, not just 15. 28! You can slap this thing in the middle because of how I made the control circuit. You can expand it from the left side and the right side. So yeah, this is my 28 by 2 hipster door. We just flick this, and boom, everything opens in sync. No waving patterns or anything like weird like that. And then we close it, and boom, it closes really fast. And also, there's a little bit of piston spaz, but it's only like one piston movement, so it's barely noticeable. So this thing is amazing. And also, there's nothing that makes it go over, so if you're making a 28 long hipster, the redstone's also going to be 28 long. So that's also really useful, I guess. Also, look how much air there is. You could build a house in here. And look at that beautiful red redstone dust rendering. I love Bedrock Edition. Look, I can't even see any of it now. So, before we do the tutorial, over here I just have the layout just to kind of show you how it works because there's no point in teaching you how to build something without knowing how it works because that's that's boring. So, first of all, for the closing, we just power this piston over here. It's going to push everything across and put a redstone block here. And then we one tick this piston on the bottom so we get something like this. There we go. And our piston is extended and boom, we get our closing and everything's under the ground. And then for the opening, we retract this, and then we retract this, and the way we retract that is uh, there's something under here, so it is that block, that's what that would be. And then we would power this observer, that would power this redstone dust, and that would retract the top piston, so let me just do that, and then I have to set this for four ticks for the next part. And then this will shift over like this, we're gonna get our double piston extension. So that's going to power this redstone, powering this bottom piston, and this observer will power this top piston. And then we one tick this, so then we can have this piston activate, and then this piston will also push the very bottom piston onto this observer and do the last retraction. So let's just see that. And that is basically how it works. Super easy. Definitely super easy, and all of you understood that. So now you know how this thing works. You want to build it. I know you do. It's literally the best hipster door on YouTube. Not the best hipster door that exists. There's probably smaller ones, but this one's pretty fast for its size. I mean, look at this. It's beautiful. And boom, it's open. Amazing. So I'm gonna go into F5 mode. I'm gonna crouch like a generic Minecraft YouTuber. And now it is tutorial time. So to build this door, you're gonna need a 2x8x5 area under the ground. So this quartz over here, this is where your ground's gonna be. And that is where your door's gonna be. And then in which chest? I think it's this one. Yeah, in this chest, this is what you need for the 2x2 two two hipster. So you can pause the video and look at that. And if you want to expand it, these are the things you need per block layer. So if you want like a, you want to add another extra two blocks, you need this times two. If you want to add an ex, just an extra block is just this. So yeah, you can get that. The quartz block is just decoration blocks and the cyan wool is your wiring blocks. Obviously you're going to need more than one for that. So let's just start with the actual hipster door itself, just the 2x2 two two version. So I'm just going to get out my fun redstone components out of this chest DA. So first thing you're going to do is in this little space, you're going to go all the way to the right and you're going to count over three. So one, two, three. And then over here, I marked out like a red area and that is where your pistons are going to go. So you're going to go two blocks up like this. And then you're going to put three sticky pistons facing upward. So one, two, and three. And then just break those, and then another three like that. 
And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to put your door blocks over here next to those pistons on the side where there are four blocks. Oh, I just broke that. Whatever. I'll break it anyway. So now, uh, creative inventory and bedrock. Yes. So now we're just going to replace this. So next to these two quartz blocks, you're going to put redstone blocks, and then you're going to put sticky pistons behind them like this. And I'm just going to break this pillar over here. There we go. Behind these sticky pistons, you're going to put two blocks like this and redstone dust like that. And then under it, you're going to put two more blocks like that and more redstone dust. And then you're just going to put two sticky pistons facing towards your little triple piston extender setup thing. <laughs> and then you're going to put two observers pointing towards these pistons on the pistons like that so it's going to push them and power the bottom piston next thing you're going to do is you're just going to go under and you're going to put two observers facing downwards coming from the piston so i'm just going to do this oh come on there we go and there we go and then you're going to put two observers going like that and we're going to put two blocks over here those will be replaced with observers later i'm just saying that now and then two blocks in front and then we're going to put two one tick repeaters like that so this should be our closing so if we just get our lever and there we go let me just get my lever if we get our lever we do this we have a closing circuit over here so that's pretty cool and then we have a little bit of the first part of the opening so now just to reset this we're going to go over here to where these pistons are we're going to put two observers facing upwards and we're going to put two normal pistons facing this way and i just broke my observer let me put that back there we go so just uh put your block here and your block up there and then just power these pistons so it should look like this again yay so now what you're gonna do is you're going to put an observer pointing towards this uh, block over here like that and an observer facing downwards next to it so let me just get under here and then you're going to put a four tick repeater like this and a one tick repeater in front of it and then you're going to put two blocks in front like that and you're going to get your redstone dust again and put two pieces of redstone dust in front of that repeater two observers going up like this and then two blocks in front of those observers and that's going to power the pistons so awesome yay wow okay now we're going to go over here in front of this repeater and we're going to put a two tick repeater over here again this will be replaced by observers later but we'll do that when that happens i'm gonna put a block in front like that oops that was the wrong button and a hopper like this and an observer facing upwards with a block and then next to it you're gonna put a block here and a four tick repeater going into this little piston setup and then this is the tricky part i'm just gonna break these we're gonna put two sticky pistons facing into these bottom pistons so then when they're activated they're gonna push across and i'm just gonna put my pistons back over here and then we're going to put two observers facing upwards next to that second row of pistons like this amazing so now you're going to put two solid blocks they have to be solid they can't be stairs or glass or anything like that two solid blocks on top of these observers and you're going to put redstone dust under them like this now we're almost done we just have to replace the blocks with the observers so now we're going to go over here i'm going to put and nah, come on again my hole i'm going to put an observer over here I'm going to break this block put an observer and just put the repeater back on top you're going to get your redstone torch and put it right there and then you're going to get your observers again put one here and then over here and then over here like that so it's basically going back the other way you're going to replace this block with an observer and put your repeater back you're going to replace this ah, well there's nothing to replace yet another observer break this again replace it with an observer and two tick repeater so that should be everything for just a two by two hipster door so if we just flick this lever and come on there we go so there we go we have the closing and then we just open it so that's going to retract and that is going to open so there we go we have a 2x2 two two version but now what if you want to expand it that is what we are going to do so i'm just gonna get rid of all this so this these are the things you need like i said again these are the things you need to expand your thing by one block so this is what for each slice yes i can speak english okay so 
on this 28 by 28 hipster thing over here, uh, that 2x2 two two hipster door circuit is in the center. So the maximum you can go in each direction is 13 blocks. Just keep that in mind. We're just going to go to one side just to make this easier. It's basically the exact same on the other side, so it doesn't really matter. So we're just going to go like maybe three blocks to one side. So just pick whatever side you want. And we're just going to add some extra pistons. If you're not expanding it, you can just stop watching the video now because that's it. So here we go. We have three extra blocks. And we're just going to put our normal pistons over here. And we're going to put our sticky pistons over here. Come on, I can't place. And then sticky pistons down here. We're going to put our observers in front. And our observers facing upwards like this. Our redstone blocks over here. And quartz and quartz and quartz and quartz. And then we're going to put observers facing upwards like this. And quartz, quartz, quartz. And last, we have to put the pistons here, so just put your pistons facing sideways. I picked a very good spot to do this, so there we go, and there we go. So that is all the pistons expanded, I'm pretty sure. So this is what you have to expand. You have to expand this redstone wire that is on top of the pistons, like that. You have to expand this redstone wire that is under these normal pistons, just like this. You're going to put your observers like that. And then your blocks on top. So there we go. You've expanded that part. Now over here is the part where you have to expand the most. You're going to expand this top line and this bottom line. And then we're just going to put redstone dust on all of those blocks. And then let's see. There's a little bit more. Well, let me just break more blocks. I need some more downwards observers. So now you have to put downwards observers on every single slice. And sideways observers on every single slice. And now instead of observers, you can actually place normal blocks here and normal blocks here and put your repeaters on one tick over on these blocks, just like that. And now that should be everything done. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. So if we just flick this lever, let's just see what happens. So there we go. We have a two by five hipster door just like that. And we flick the lever again and it should open, hopefully. And there we go, we have a 2x5 hipster. So basically what we expanded, let's just quickly go over. We expanded this section over here with the redstone line, observer block, and piston. We expanded this redstone line, this repeater section, and this little observer circuit. We basically expanded the entire closing and just a little bit of the opening. So yeah, that is basically the entire hipster door. So now we're just going to go over how the heck you move the lever because that's going to be important. So, you can't really d take a redstone input from this. You have to put a repeater going like this. So this is your first option, and then you can just kind of do whatever. You can move the redstone wherever you want. Doesn't really matter. And then, where's my lever? Let me get my lever. E. There we go. And it'll work just fine. Look at that. It closes again. So amazing. And it's opening. So that is option number one, or you can do what I did for the little demonstration at the beginning where you actually put glass. So I actually removed it. So basically there's another way you can expand it if you use glass. So now I need glass. Oh boy, I have to navigate the bedrock menu. So I'm just going to grab some cyan stained glass and you just replace the edge of the top with glass like this. And then you just put a block down going like that and now you basically have a dust input that you can just kind of move everywhere where wherever you want and boom you have you have a dust input but you also have to pay attention of the signal strength so you have to make sure that the signal strength can actually reach the farthest piston so just be careful of that and this is not going to work either if you expanded it from both sides so that's that's a thing so the repeater's probably easier so yeah that is a hipster door all done uh, I don't know. <laughs> what else do I say? You want to know a fun little story about this? I had to redesign this entire hipster door because it didn't save. The world didn't save, and all I had to recreate this was one picture. I love Bedrock Edition. So yeah, that is a hipster door, and uh, I'm probably going to upload this while I live stream, so that's going to be fun. Be sure to watch the Minecraft in Minecraft live stream. Or if this is the future, then that already happened. But you can still go watch the replay of that. I don't know how long it's going to be. But yeah, that's a thing that's going to happen. So that is a hipster. I'm talking too much. Goodbye.